I don't think that will help. Fourier's problem isn't you, Pascal. It's Fourier. Her spirit has been crushed by years of doubt and self-loathing. Sympathy will only make the problem worse. But I... I love her, you know? I just wish she knew that. Oh, Pascal. Don't worry. She'll understand someday. You're the only one who can stop the Valkanis experiment now. Fourier knows that's true, even if she'll never admit it. If the experiment isn't stopped, Fourier's work will end up killing a whole lot of people. And no one wants that, especially not you. He's right. Helping us will save your sister's reputation and maybe even her life. Plus, we... We need you, Pascal. We can't do this alone. So, come on, pull yourself together and let's go. Aw, oh, little bro. Thanks, guys. You're the best. That was all right, Hubert. I know what she's going through. And besides, it would be far too quiet if she weren't around. Now, can we all stop talking and just head for Zavard? There's no time to waste.
think.
Protect us all. Enemies. Another in my tally. Enemies. We must always give it our best. That said that Kurt is Fendel's chief science officer. There's a place called Fendel Tower north of the city that houses government agencies. I wager we'll find the Ministry of Science there. Okay, let's ask around and see if we can find a way inside.
doing here? They're Ma! You know each other? Of course! Everyone, this is Fair Ma. She's an Amarcian like me. Nice to meet you, everyone. So you work for Fendel now, right, Fair Ma? <laughs> That's right. Actually, I work at Fendel Tower. The security is such a pain. 
You have to use this fancy security pass just to get in. Hey, so do you think I could maybe kind of sort of borrow your pass? I've wanted to see the inside of that tower forever. Um, well, I don't know. Please? I promise I'll just look around and not break anything and come right back. Well, all right. I suppose I can trust you of all people. Aw, uh, thanks, Fair Ma. I totally owe you. Tower, huh? I sure hope Kurt is here. You said you knew him, right, Malik? In fact, you seemed shocked when you heard his name. What kind of person is he? If things go badly and we have to fight him, your information might help turn the tide. We first met at the military academy over 20 years ago. Much as they do now, the people of Fendel were suffering. The climate was harsh, and our Valkanist provided no help. Most of the people were on the verge of poverty. Or worse. The rich were content to let the poor struggle, so long as their own gluttony remained satisfied. Eventually, a young officer decided he had seen enough and started a reform movement. Kurt and I believed strongly in the cause, and had soon devoted ourselves to it completely. So what happened? It was youthful foolishness. Those in power brought pressure to bear and crushed the revolution before it could take hold. I knew my life was in danger, and so I decided to flee Fendel while I still could. But Kurt... Kurt stayed. He refused to watch the light of revolution flicker and die. He was a man of fearsome intelligence and singular will. A man who would sooner die than surrender his ideals. Even if we do manage to track him down, I doubt he'll listen to an old coward like me. But there's a chance, Captain. And that means we have to try. I suppose you're right. Let's go find him. limits. Pramah's not feeling well, so she sent us in her place. She sent six of you? Today's procedure is unusually labor-intensive. Well, all right. Go on through. But that pass of yours will only work on the first floor. All other areas are off-limits. Understood. Yes, I suppose so. I won't hold it against you if you wish to view me as a professional liar. All right, we made it into the tower. Now the real work begins. 
Right. We should find Kurt as soon as possible. We can let
enemies. Another in my tally. Another in my tally.
can't lose. Okay. Just another in my tally. Very well, let's begin. Die! Burn! 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 Uh, you performed reasonably as well. Let's keep 
keep moving. So this is Kurt's office. Looks like he's out. Are you sad he's not here? A little. But I'm also relieved. I have no idea what I'll say to the man when I finally see him again. Anyway, we're here. We should learn what we can. Is that? Here, let me look. Hmm, yep, that's it. It's the Falconus Creus. It's hidden in a glacier right outside the capital. What? That's just a stone's throw away. If the Falconus explodes, it will mean the end of Zavhurt. Someone's coming.
Malik, is that you? Hello, Kurt. It's been a long time. As much as I'd love to catch up, this is hardly the time nor the place. We need to speak to you. It's important. Is it true that you're heading up the Valkanus experiment? It is. And it's also true we're finally on the cusp of a vital breakthrough. If this experiment works, we'll be able to harvest Eleth at a phenomenal rate. The people of Fendal, all of them, will want for nothing. The revolution of 20 years past never died, old friend. It just took a different form. You have to stop the experiment, Kurt. The research you're using is flawed. If you extract too much Eleth, it'll initiate an unstoppable chain reaction and destroy the Valkanus. This is Pascal. She's an Amarcian and an expert on the Valkanus. She founded the original research upon which Fourier based her work. Your concerns are amusing, but unnecessary. The experiment will go forward as planned. What? Do you think me so foolish as to rely solely on the work of Miss Fourier? We've made extensive modifications to her research and accounted for every possible outcome. You have no cause for concern. But... My country is dying. If we halt the experiment, the plight of our citizens will become exponentially greater. We would be forced to invade neighboring countries merely to survive. The border skirmishes of our recent past would quickly escalate into all-out war. When you say neighboring countries, do you mean Windor? We have nothing more to discuss. So that's it? You refuse to stop the experiment? Malik, out of respect for our past history together, if you leave now, I will give you time to escape. If not, I will summon the guards. You turned tail and ran once, Malik. I suggest you do so again. Kurt, damn you! Enough! You and I chose very different paths, old friend. This is mine. Valkanus is. That's something. But Kurt refused to stop the experiment. He's fought a revolution all by himself for the last 20 years. Think of the strength that must have taken. I wish I could support him. You heard what he said, Pascal. Do you still think the experiment is dangerous? There's no safe way to extract Elith from that Valkanus. It's just way too unstable. I see. Captain Malik, we should go to the glacier and stop the experiment. We're the only ones who know the truth. It's our responsibility. Responsibility. When we next meet Kurt, we will almost certainly have to fight him. Are you prepared to do that? To fight my old friend. If we do this, it will bring the wrath of the entire Fendel Nation down upon us. And we are but six people. If you don't pull your weight in battle, it'll put all of us in danger. Kurt is still my friend, no matter what happens here. But I will do whatever it takes to stop him. I owe him that much. That's all I needed to hear. Shall we move on? <laughs> 